going on? I'm super excited for this video because we are talking about sea moss, which happens to be trending, is popular. You see it on Instagram and Facebook about the vitamins and the minerals, but you know, as a cosmetic chemist, I have to go deeper. So we are going to be talking about carabinins, which happen to be amazing at moisture retention for our hair. And you already know, moisture retention is key for healthier hair, so stay tuned. Okay, so when I was doing my research on sea moss, I always look at the most abundant component within an ingredient. Okay, so with sea moss, the most abundant happens to be carrageenan. Now, carrageenan is really unique because it is a polysaccharide. And polysaccharides are literally like little sugar molecules. And sugar molecules, in a sense, act like humectants, like glycerin. So they are good at binding to water. And anything that can bind to water can be a great moisturizing agent. On the flip side of carrageenan is that it is not only a polysaccharide, a moisturizing agent, but it is a sulfated polysaccharide. It's going to have better affinity to the hair, so it's going to stick to the hair, smooth the cuticles, and give you much softer hair. So you're going to get that from this sulfated polysaccharide, aka carrageenan. Another great thing about this carrageenan is that it acts as a gelling agent. So when you make your sea moss and you're getting like that jelly consistency, that is the carrageenan doing its work. So the great thing about that is that you can use it for slip because it's going to create a nice film around your curls, up on your cuticle, you're getting better curl definition. So if you ever decide to incorporate sea moss into your hair care regimen, it'll be a great detangler, it'll be a great leave-in conditioner, a great uh, wash and go or styling aid, like a jelly, like a homemade gel that you can use for your hair because it does moisture retention, soften the hair, and provide amazing slip and definition. You do decide to make it, try to use it within three to four weeks before because it will tend to go bad because it is typically a fresh ingredient. So I hope you guys enjoyed this super quick video. I do have a question for you. Have you tried sea moss before? Do you like it? Do you not like it? How do you prepare it? How do you use it? Let us know in the comment section below and I cannot wait to see your responses. Be sure to check out the Curly Girls Got to Hair Care ingredients. It will change the way you look at hair care products in the natural hair care industry. And if you are interested in starting your own natural hair care line, but need some guidance on what to do, what not to do, where to start, how to launch, all of those great things, be sure to check out the link I will have below just for you. Thank you guys for liking this video, commenting, subscribing, making sure your notifications are on, be sure to follow me on Instagram for more curly chemistry advice, tips, and just see what your girl is up to. Okay, I love you guys, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.